Okay, Sapnin Bros, we're here with part three. We're hoping for um, the mate to this earring to be in there. And there was a couple of other little silver bits and um, this gold earring from the first bag that we're hoping to find friends for. So we have bag number three. There we go. Hmm, let's check it out and see what we've got. Ooh, oh, there's a lot of littles in this. Oh, look, lots of littles. Eek. Right, come back little bits, come back. Uh, another goal to type in? No, sadly not. But you never know. There could be some more in here somewhere. If there's one, I always think if there's one bit of gold, then there might be more. You never know. Um, it's a very similar silver ring here. Oh, that looks like it's split. That's a shame. That does look silver, so that'll go into sort of scrap silver lot. Maybe there's um silversmith out there that might like to repair that. But there we go. Oh, where's my bag's gone? So I've still got my bag of broken. We're working on a two kilo bag. It's not far off two kilos right now. What have we got in here? This looks like a little set. Who's that by NM? Don't know who that is. Got this like orangey enamel on it. Necklace and earring set. But that'll probably go in two kilos. What's that? Rocking around the Christmas tree. A six pack the pearly earrings from Primark. That'll go in there. And then we've got a whole bunch of pearly bits. Let's take a look at these. Oh, there's lots of little earrings and stuff in here. Oh, what's that? Oh, we've got like a little lion type dude. Don't think he's silver. I'm not sure. I'll keep him aside to test because you never know. Right, we've got all of these pearly bits. Is that going to say next or accessorize that one? That looks like it might have been part of a set. But these all go into the pearly lot. And what else we got here? So we got, that's not part of that. So just some stud earrings and got some more stud earrings there. And, ooh. Oh, those are um, collars. You know, um, like collar tips for like line dancing and stuff. So that can go in there as well. And if I put that in, I think that will be about the two kilo mark. So I can pop that aside and that will go either to one of you guys who wants to buy it or I will put it on my eBay as an auction at some point this week. Silver girls, apparently, but it's not sterling silver. Quite a pretty pair of earrings, though, with this like green enamel in it. A bit um, Aztec y, festival y looking. I'll come back. Here we go. Right, I see a bracelet there that looks like, uh, yes, it's an Alex and Annie, or Alex and Arnie, however they want to say it. See, Alex and Arnie. 2013 they're a us brand it's just got a k on it um i've tried selling these before that i don't think there's much of a market in the uk for them so that's gonna go in there got some plastic beads i'm doing a plastic bead kitty sort of dress up lot so that will go in them when i eventually get it out of there i might leave it for now <laughs> oh another k there's another key that, that's very well entangled there. What's this? Oh, this looks cute. Oh, look, some more seahorses. Oh, that's really cute. 
It's not gold. It might be gold plated. It's not gold. But that's something I am. Eh, I would have sold, except it's a bit short and broken, so that's going to go into broken lots, sadly. What's this? This looks like it might be. Oh no. It's hoping that might be a bit of vintage stuff, but it's Marks and Spencers. Nothing wrong with that. It's very deco looking. Be glass in there. But that's going to go into two kilos. I've right, got some more of these gold colored bangles. Let's get these out. They do look quite nice together, don't they? And are those bangles or earrings? They're bangles as well. Nice gold colour to them. You can go in there. Got a little brooch. I think that's... I'm not sure if that's carved shell, actually. It is very delicate, very pretty. Yeah, it doesn't look moulded. That might be something I'll sell or I'll go in a, to a brooch's lot. Got a little bit of unsilver rings there. What about this one? Are you unsilver? I think you are. So we've got um, some channel set. A few bits of Konya in there as well. It's like Russian wedding band. Don't think it's silver. I can't see any marks. No, so that's going to go into ring slot. That's with that one. That's quite a groovy ring. It's kind of good fun, but that'll go into a ring slot as well. What's in this little bag? Another K. Hmm. So who's the K that's donated all of this together? Who can say? We'll never know. But there's another K there. How weird. There you go, another Alex and Arnie K. Anyway, we were looking in here, weren't we? So what have we got? This is a little sparkly K. Looks like a little dress. And then go for it. Little charms. Clip on charms for a bracelet. All going in there. Got some little buttons. They can go into craft. And that's quite freaky. That'll go in craft. There's another one of these faux Links of London ones. Oh, and more beads. Okay, I did see a pair there. Yes, I did. Here we go. So we've got some cloisonne enamel. Oh, and they're signed as well. So it's a fish and crown one. So that is something that I can sell. That's cool. Right, I am doing a Marks and Spencers new with tags lot. So that can go in there. I'm guessing there would have been a long necklace to go with it, but that's, they probably just bought it for the necklace and then didn't use the earrings, but that can go into that lot as well. That's pentagram. It's not silver. It's um, like a pewter kind of metal, I guess. Oh, wow. That's a purple brooch. That'll go into a brooch's lot. Cute little bow ring. Let's have a look at all these rings. Ew, what does that mean? That's kind of cool. I don't know what it means, but I like it. It's all this enamel in there. I think it's copper underneath. It's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? Like, I don't really know what it means. But that'll go into a ring slot. Don't think it'd be worth me selling it on its own. Not just yet, anyway. Right. More of these gold coloured bangles. Let's see if I can get them out. There's a horrible brown cord there, which I don't. Might have to cut, I don't know. And then there's this, which. Oh, do you know what? All of that is going to go straight away. Hang on, there's a little clip there into a bag. It's a nice enough little pendant on there, sparkly. Yeah. 
the one in there, more hair clips. Oh, this is quite the chunk of pearly goodness. So we've got like a multi strand. It's got some earrings attached to it. So let's get them out. Wow. So I wonder if it's a choker. Or... Right, where's the end? Who's that by? NY. Don't know. But that's quite cool. Like slightly offset with the little rosette. Are you meant to be in there? No, you can come out as well. That's quite cool, but obviously it's going to go in with two kilos because it's uh, not for me, not for my shop. It's pink with all that looks um, silvery. Let's get this. Can we get it off? tarnished like silver but I can't see any marks so it's probably silver plated again it's got kind of links of London sort of um, slider thing on it but I don't think it is so I think it's like a an imitation one yeah I can't see any silver marks on it Quite pretty, so that'll go in there. Oh, there's gonna be so many littles. It'll be crazy now. Oh, not quite. Oh, there you go. Pair of purples. They look a bit bonkers. I've got the inside of something there. Quite a nice pendant, that. That'll go into a pendant slot. And that's a broken one that's missing. Yeah, it's missing like the inner stone from there. It's a shame, but we'll put one in pendant slot and one in broken. Oh, there's lots down here, isn't there? We've got little faux pearly looking beads on there. <gasps> a little bat. He's quite cute. He'll go in a pendant slot. Oh, and look at this fish. Now, he's cool. I think he might be silver. So we've got like some filigree, some Etruscan looking. That might be turquoise in there as well. Can't see any marks. It's probably continental silver. We'll keep him aside to test. An unsilver ring. Another unsilver ring. A little button or something. That's an unusual earring. It's wanting to be silver, but I don't think it is. Shame it's an odd one, that. Literally odd. And that's a hair tie. We've got a pair of pink ones here. Oof. That's a rather sparkly fandango one. Is that the pair there? Yep. There we go. So that's a pair going in the two kilos. Hair clip. Right, let's get some of this out. That's a rather monkey cord there, but someone can use the nice flowers on there, so that'll go in craft. Wow, look at the sparkles on that. Like yellow, clamper. It's quite nice, faux pearls in there. Not something I would sell in my shop though, so that's going in two kilos. Oh, that's a weird little charm. Is that? Oh, it's bubbles. Oh, that's bizarre. How very strange. I don't know what to do with that. That's, I mean, I'll take that off there because I don't think that's meant to be in there and that's like a clip-on charm thing. But that's kind of cool. I think it says, I, I love you on it. Like on the little bubbles inside. That's weird. I'll put it in with the pendants. Oh, these are pretty. They look vintage. I wonder if they was meant to, yeah, I think they was meant to be stones in the middle there, like little cubic zirconia, can you see? Now, they would be fab if they were gold and had diamonds in them and were vintage in it, but sadly not, sadly not, never mind. 
Have I seen one like that before? No, not yet. Lots of odd earrings. It's always going to be the way. I mean, littles are great, but you know, my word. Oh, wait, we've got a tiara. Missing a stone, but totally retrievable. Like someone can do something with that. So that's going to go in craft, even if they just take out like all of the little stones. That was a stone from the middle of that thing, but there we go. Okay. It's quite nice earring that. Now, I don't think I've ever seen a gold earring that has that finding on it. So that's a big clue as to whether things are gold or not. That's a cute little brooch with dried flowers in. That'll go into a brooch's lot. An ungold ring. An ungold earring. And that's a pair there, isn't it? It's a fun little game of just like find the pairs as well. It's a rather sparkly fandango one and a little heart and a bit of string. That's probably one of those things, you know, like wear me until it breaks. Some more of those faux pearls for the pearly lot. Hmm. What's in this little baggy pair of sparkly earrings? That can just go straight in there. Let's come those ones. And then what's in this little bag? Oh, there's two little bags. Hold on. I can see some more butterflies. So I've got some butterflies to give to my sister for whatever the craft thing is she wanted to do. So she'll be happy. And some butterfly earrings, but I'm going to put them back in the baggie and into two kilos. So I think it's more the brooches she wanted. Oh, that's kind of cute. Three little feathers. Again, that'll go into the brooches lot. There's a pair. They're kind of cute. If it was summertime again, that would go into my uh, lot. Kelly. Okay, now we know who the K was. K was Kelly. There we are. Thank you for giving up all of this, Kelly. Wonder what that's made of. Bone, maybe? Resin. Okay. There was uh, some like shirt keeper type things, like sleeve holder uppers. Technical word, obviously. You know, I'm just like trying to race through these to get to the, the littles because that's what I find exciting. That's quite nice. That would probably sell. But again, I'm just going to put that in two kilos. Obligatory, magnetic. Do what you want with these kind of things. You can wrap them around. You can wear as a necklace. Wear as a bracelet. All sorts. And here with tags, Georgia as the earrings. Right, let's get these ones out. It's quite a nice pendant, but the cord is a little bit mank and it's missing some stones, so that can go into broken. Oh, cute little vintage ring. Some earrings, sparkly earrings there. Can't see any names on them or anything. Some more full pills. God, there's lots, lots of littles. I do like littles, but you know, you'll have to bear with because obviously they are a bit of a bugger. Right, can get any more of these out. That's an anchor. What's this monster? Oh, there's another one of them pink hearts. So it'd be nice if they go together because then two people have them oh that's missing a big chunk out of there that's a shame because that would be quite unusual but someone can harvest bits from that oh look that is the bit so someone can fix that and then they're the matching earrings i guess going in there what's that texas 
Texas. Oh, that's cool. With a little buffalo head. I don't think it's silver. It's got a little copyright mark on it. Mm, would I sell something like that? I don't think so. Going in there. Cute little ring for rings. Like is this another Alex and Arnie? I think it is. Ireland. Hmm. I wonder. I don't think I can see any marks on that. This might be silver plated. Solva. I've sold something by them before, but not for loads. But again, someone might like that. Maybe Kelly was Irish. Oh, wow. Now that is a sparkly butterfly. Little red eyes. Can't see any marks on it. Not sure if it'd be that old because it's glittery rather than, you know, rhinestoned. But I'll put that with my sister's butterfly lot. And let's get rid of these red beads. So they will go into like a plastic beady lot and like a kid's dress up kind of thing. Can we get these ones out yet? Oh, I just dropped an earring, I think. No great loss. Right. Are you worth detangling? Well, I suppose I have to to get the... Mm, to get the black beads out of. We'll come back to you. I don't like you just yet. We've got a pair there. They're quite unusual, like these black cutout ones. They almost look like snakes or rope or something. Kind of weird. And then you look like you're attached to a lot of things. Let's undo that. I just really want to get to the littles, and you know this already. It's been 22 minutes, and uh, we just want to get to the tiny bit. Because that can be the exciting stuff. Right. Get you out of there. And you out. And you out. And what's all this going on here? You'll have to let go. Where are you from, Claire's? So you're not going to be silver. Probably not silver. Okay, come on. Let go. Come on. Right. Bear with. Like that. Like that. All just twisted round. Sometimes just a little bit of patience. There we go. Got quite a nice stone in there, but that's going in there. And that is this plastic. And it's attached to that, which I'm just gonna shove them all in there for someone else to care about. Oh, they're rather deco looking, but shame that one's missing a stone. Never mind. I will test them for gold. I know that sounds weird, but sometimes like foreign little bits like that do end up being gold. So I will keep them aside because you never know. You never know. Here we've got a charm bracelet with lots of hearts on. Let's go in there. Stretchy, but that's going to give up the ghost any minute, so that'll go in there. And some more of these gold colour bangles attached to a Marks and Spencer's necklace. See, they do look nice together. Oh, that was another piece of that thing from earlier. Can't see any marks, so I don't think. Yeah, that can go in there. Weird, you're meant to be parts of an earring, but broken. So I see why it's ended up in here. Aha, there's the other skeleton dude. See, so wait long enough and you will find pears. They're kind of good fun, aren't they? 
would be cool for Halloween, but you know. Right. Do, do, do. Let's get these beads out if we can. Indeed, lady. There's another K there as well. Here we go, it's a shell beachy one. That would have been in the holiday lot if it was coming up to summertime. I just got a little plain chain there. Another butterfly brooch. That's cool. My sister will be happy. <laughs> right. I reckon that's what that random bit of thingy was from earlier. So I'm going to put that in there. Someone can piece them back together and fix them. Right, we need to get this out of here. So let's undo that. See, I'm doing this after eating a, a nice chicken dinner. The cat, like the new cat, Tilda, she tried some chicken and oh my God, she was like, this is the best thing ever. Give me more. So she really enjoyed a little bit of roast chicken. I mean, what cat doesn't really? Okay, you coming out now? And we've got more things attached. Okay. Oh, it's the same stuff that I didn't want to do earlier. <laughs> I can't do this in about eight seconds. I'm going to give up. gonna go in two kilos and I can't be bothered with it. <laughs> I know that's bad. And then we've got a plain chain which would be cool the pendant on it. Yeah that kind of works. I wonder if I can get it on. Yeah why not? Yeah that works. There we go. Half this yarn. Right, we're nearly getting to all the littles. Which we hope we find something in there that's, that makes it worth looking through. We've got a um, gold plated chain there, again with that K on. It's missing a stone though, that's a shame. K. <laughs> K. See, I made a joke there. Okay. This looks a bit like Juicy Couture. I wonder if it is. They normally have like a crown on it, but I can't see anything there, so I'll just go there. It's a weird wire wrapped bit of glass teardrop, quite pretty. And then a couple of silver colored bangles. Silver. Righty ho. Okay, are we ready for this now? So we're looking for little bits of gold and silver and unusual bits, obviously, and pairs. So we're going to try and pair some stuff up. You're probably screaming at the screen right now, like that one and that one. Oh, there's a little silver and pearl like wrap ring there. Right, let's get rid of ones that we can see aren't pairs. Are you pair? You might be, and you might be silver as well. Possibly, I'll keep them aside to test the bits on them. Here we go, they, they are a pair, but they're not silver. And let's pick up the rings as well. Got, oh, that one's got a little cross dangle on it. And I've got a row of full pearls. Little pearl solitaire. They all go in to the rings lot. That's God knows what. Stuck to something. Oh, that's quite cool. These little dangly twists. Again, I don't think they're silver. And I can't see the other one just yet. Can't see that one. Oh, what's that? Oh, another little chalice. 
Can I see any marks? It looks like it might be rolled gold. No, I can't see any marks on it. I will test that. Keep that aside. Because you just don't know. Right. Come on. Get sensible now. That's not silver. That can go in there. That's quite a cute earring. Can't see its friend. Got a little pin, which is one of those like warding off evil things. Right, I don't know about you, but I can't see either of them anywhere in there. Can't see that one, that one. That's a button. And there we go, there's a pair. Oh, you're not gold. That's a shame, that would have been a nice gold earring. Is the back gold? Where's my loop gone? Oh yes, the back is 14 karat gold. Just on a plain earring. So, you know, check. Sometimes they are. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Little spades. <laughs> Sweet. Right, we're going to start and like work our way through over here I've got clip-ons and I'm just gonna separate like what I think might be yep that's silver but I don't think that is that's a little silver earring back and then beads and broken bits I'll put to one side that Looks like it might be gold. It's got a little bit of tea staining on it. The back is not anything. But I will test that bit for gold. There's so many tiny studs. Do -ba -do 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 -do. Oh, that's a cute little feather one. You're not gold. So many tiny things. Now it is worth picking out like the solo silver and gold studs like that because people buy little job lots of those as well because people don't always want matching earrings, you know? And why not? Because we are all different, I'm not. Do. All these little weird broken bits will go down here and they'll go into craft. Was that a pair? Did I see? Nope. I'm not saying that this is how you should sort them all. You might not want to sort things like this. You might do yours differently, which is perfectly fine. That looks like it might be gold. I reckon. So we'll keep that aside and test that. Ooh, we got a chain, a Mr. Chain. Marks and Spencers. And there's a ring. And that's a pair. That's a pair. That's very similar to the one we had earlier, wasn't it? The didn't test the silver. So is it still over there? Probably is somewhere. I've just lost it in the mire. That's okay. We'll find it again one day. Right. They're sadly not silver. That's a shame, but they can go in there. Purpley durple. Hmm, that's broken. Yeah, I don't think we've got the pairs to them. And that's broken, that's a shame. There's a pair. Another little chain. I don't think you're gold and you're broken as well, so never mind. You know, these aren't anything. Oh, that's missing a little stone from there. 
bit, little bit. Are you silver? Nope. That's cute little dice. Or die. That's quite a nice one. It's a shame that's not silver because that's quite a nice design there. I like that. Got a little toe ring. Cute little dangle. What does that say? Toothpaste. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I think that is actually silver as well. The back looks like silver. So I will keep that aside and test that. It's quite random. You do not find some weird stuff, honestly. Um, that looks like it might be silver. Yes, it is. So we've got a few odd silver earrings. That's a pair of scissors. That looks like it might be silver as well. That's quite cute. And a little ice cream cone. <laughs> I think they are silver. They must all have been like odd earrings. I'm sure I saw the other one to that a second ago. Can you see it? Shout out if you can. Keep that there because I'm sure I saw it. Nope. Oh, that is a pear. Oh, there we go. It's that way round. Not silver, though. Shame. Not silver. What do you say? I think that one's silver. That one is, um, you know, like a piercing stud, I think. It says USA. Something stud X. I might test that just in case because like that bit might be gold. I don't know. Oh God, you hooked up in there. Get out. That looks like it might be silver. Worth testing. That's a pair, but they look like they're missing their middle bits. Shame. Some kind of wiry thing. Oh, that's cute with the little star dangles. Random bead. Let's move these aside. Is that silver? This is classic. That's a nice earring. I don't think it is anything, but it's a shame. That was a pear, wasn't it? Yep. Here we go. So that goes in there. And that pink one, I'm sure I've seen. Yep. Here we go. Oh, my back hurts now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll find it if it's there. Well, there we go. That's a pear. That's the other bit from that pendant. That can go in there. Nope, nope. We haven't seen another one of them. Are you going to say 9k on it? You never know. Sometimes clip-ons are gold as well, but I don't think that one is. Oh yeah, that's the other one that we're going to test, isn't it? What does the back say? Mm, I can't see any marks on the back, but I'll test that bit as well, just in case. I don't think you're silver or you, but you're a pear. Ah, there we go. There's the other one to that one. Don't see that star anywhere. Oh, little mermaid pendant. Cute. Random beads, random beads. Do, 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 do. Nope. Yep, you look silver. Some weird thing. Actually, right now I'm probably not even looking for pears. I'm just gonna look for gold and silver. That might be silver with a little faux pearl. We'll keep that aside. Nope. I wonder. It's got a tiny little. Oh, is that a plating coming off there? Yeah, that's not gold. See all of these tiny little bits, they really do add up, trust me. 
That's cool. That's really unusual, isn't it? Hmm. Looks vintage. Can't see the other one. Shame. That looks silver. Yes, it is. Little coffee bean. That looks silver. Nope. 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 That might be a little bit of silver. Nope. 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 All of the nopes. I I do know that there are actually a few pairs in here, but I just can't be bothered now. Well, there we go. That's a pair that can go straight in. It's nice when they just come together. A chain with a cross on it. I'll put that in across this lot. That's a little pair. That's silver. That's a little pear. Are you silver? Possibly. I will test them. You look silver also. And a little bowie flash. Yeah, we haven't found much gold in this one, have we? Oh, that's a pair there, but they're already lost in there. Oof, to me back. The hunching over that hurts, isn't it? Nope. Oh, that's a pair, though. I don't think they're silver, so I'll pop them in there. Do, do, do. We're nearly done, guys. Nearly done. Just these last few bits. That's a pair. And then there's another one of them scissors ones. Okay. So not hugely exciting. Did we find any gold? We've got some potential gold. Potential gold. All of these are now, I can't be bothered like pairing them up to be honest. So they're just gonna go away somewhere else. And these are gonna go into the crafter bag. We still didn't find the other one of them, which is a real shame. But hey ho. Right. So we're testing that for gold and that and that. That and that and that and that. I think there will be some silver in with these crazy bits down here. Let's get the loop first. See if we can see any marks. Mm. Right. Can't see any marks on these. That's a nice scratch though, so that's a good start. Don't think that's anything. Let's see. I really, oh, yep. Okay, that's nine carats. So we've just got a little gold bow there, earring. So that'll go into scrap gold because we don't think the other one is here. Potential. Didn't we say that this one was 14K? Yeah, that one is 14K, so we've got a little bit of scrap there. I don't think this is actually gonna be gold. Yeah, it's scratching differently, see? Although that is scratching differently again. So you never know. And then these weird little gold ring things. No, I don't think they are. And then this, we 
which is probably a rolled gold. Scratching nice though. Let's give him a test. I have got some more of the solution coming because I've like run out of everything right now. Okay. So that definitely not. That's a maybe. That's a definitely not. That's definitely not. And that's a maybe. So potentially bits of gold there. So they're quite nice. They're little pearls with a little leaf on the front. Actually, I can believe that that is gold because that's like, that's super cute. Can you see them there? That's quite nice. So yeah, a pair of gold earrings. Don't know what carrot, not yet. That one looks like it's a gold earring. Oh yeah, I can see some tea staining on it now. And is there a mark? No, but that'll go in scrap. And then that, oh wait, is that a mark? Hold on. Oh my God, yes it is. It's proper full UK hallmark. 375. So we've got a little gold pendant. That's nice then. So we did find gold. Brilliant. And then these are just random odd bits. Okay, that's awesome. Um, let's do something so I can turn this over without it melting my fabric, see? So we're gonna test some silver bits. Hmm, I don't think that's silver, but there we go. That is silver. Um, that's not silver. That's a shame because they would be really nice if they were silver. I mean, they are nice anyway, but you know. Um, I think these little studs, these are silver. That we'll just quickly test the little, yeah. The little odd ones like the toothpaste and the, yep, they're all silver studs. That's cool. So we've got a bunch of odds. Let's have a look at these. That's a no. That's definitely silver. This little heart. Nope. Um, oh yeah, that little sparkly one is silver. What about this little pearly bit? Nope. We know that one's silver, and then it's just these last two. Nope, not silver. So there we go. So that'll go into a pendant slot. That is silver. So that is something, oh, it's actually really weak though at the back. Really weak, so I'm not quite sure what to do with that. But yeah, the find from that one then is obviously this little nine carat gold. Um, chalice pendant so that's very cool yay okay hope you enjoyed that that was part three of four so do join me again for the next video whenever that may be but um yeah until next time bye bye now bye bye